Hi, and welcome to our online marketing training. We're so excited that you're here. We have a lot to share with you in order to help you dominate your market online. And as you can see, already going through our reputation reporting system, we are one of the foremost experts in online marketing in the world. And we like to help you literally dominate your market to be able to send a lot of calls, appointments, and grow your business and help you with your online marketing. So at any time you have a question, you can contact us at the phone number and email you see on this training page. So what I want to do is give you the our insider secrets of how we work with our customers and get them literally to be the leaders in the industry when it comes to their online marketing. So what I want to do is first start out with a few questions before we get right into it. First of all, would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings and reviews? We've all gone online, we've all looked at hotels or maybe bought a product on Amazon, we've looked at movie ratings. If they've got a bad review, are you interested in buying that? Of course not. We're, we look at reviews as an important factor in a decision making to see how other people have experienced that product or service. So we obviously would never do that. But more importantly, because this is really the most likely scenario, their two products are absolutely identical. One has 10 good reviews, the other has three good reviews and one bad review. Which one would you buy? Again, they're identical. You would buy the one with 10 good reviews. And that's important as we lay out the foundation of how to build your online marketing and get your phone to ring and get new customers every single day. So how do you do that? Well, it's easy. And we wanna welcome you to Reputation Marketing Training, the most important way you can market your business online. Now, I want to state this fact here, that this is not reputation management. Reputation management is for companies that do not know what they're doing online. So whenever you see the words reputation management, you can rest assured that that company really doesn't understand how to dominate and help any company online because they're playing defense. You don't make money doing management, you make money doing marketing. So we're going to teach you step by step how to develop a reputation marketing strategy, which is by far, as you'll be able to see over the next few minutes here, the most important way, the most important way that you can market your business online. And why? Well, because your reputation is everything. There is nothing more important than your reputation as we're gonna see over the next few minutes here. So the online marketing game has just changed. And the good news, your competition doesn't even know about it yet. So let's talk about some of the big game changers that recently happened. Game changer number one, any company name plus their city reveals the company's reputation. So this wasn't, this hasn't been going on for a long time. It's been very recent that Google has literally merged what's called Google Plus local listing with the company website. So every time you type in any company's name, more importantly, when you type in your company's name and your city, it reveals your reputation. So every company, over 80 million of them, all around the globe right now, are literally naked. And whatever someone says about them absolutely ends up being the perceived truth that the customer has about that company. Because as you can see here, all you have to do is type in the company name like I did right here, Douglas J. Altman, and then the city, Charleston, and their company website comes up along with their Google Plus listing. And more importantly, their Zagat review. And they got a 15 out of 30. That's a terrible, terrible reputation online. Anyone searching about this or taking a look at Douglas J. Alterman is going to go here, click on the reviews, and probably cancel their appointment because of the horrible reputation they actually have in the industry. More importantly, these aren't just any reviews. These are Zagat reviews. And so let me take open a browser right now and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because I want you to do this with your business in just a few minutes after we get done this training so you can see for yourself. So let's just look for any company. A company that's, now yeah, let's just look at Dennis Atlanta. And let's just scroll down to find someone. Um, someone that's not even on the first page, probably not really marketing a lot. Um, let's just do some searches here and see what we can find out. Um, uh, let's see here. There we go. This, let's look at Ben Manson. He's, you know, he's an individual dentist it looks like. So let's just grab his company name. And I want to open up a new browser and imagine that we're a customer or a potential customer. Someone had referred him. We we're looking to maybe set an appointment with him online or, or uh, see if we can't um, get a consultation. So we're going to type in his name and watch what happens. See this? This is very important. This is called Google Instant. 
and Google gives you suggestions of what hundreds and what thousands of others have already typed in. So we can see an absolute proof here that hundreds if not thousands are already typing in Ben Manson Dental Clinic. But look at this, reviews. This is absolute proof that people are looking for reviews about your business and mine every single day online and this is what they're finding. So let's just click on this and see what comes up. You can see here what comes up first and foremost is their website. But look at this right here, the reviews. These are Zagat reviews before the whole world to see at any point in time just by looking for your company name. And 80 million companies, not just you and me, but 80 million companies now have this all around the world. So let's actually click on their two reviews to see what they have. So if I'm a customer and just like you looking for this guy or this uh, business, look at the first review, an absolute bad review. I mean, it just goes on. This is scathing. This is unbelievable. It just goes on and on. So like I asked you earlier, if you were looking for a company and they had bad reviews, would you do business with them? The answer is no. So you can rest assured because he does not have a good reputation marketing strategy. He has bad reviews online and therefore anybody referring him business, anybody finding him online is absolutely going to go to the next business and they will not be calling him. They will not be setting an appointment and he is losing a ton of business right now because of his reputation online. So that really a big game changer. So game changer number two I want to talk about is that customer reviews are a major factor in just not what we looked at people looking for a business but every type of marketing online. So look at this. Bad reviews show up in Google Maps, Google Plus Local that we just looked at. They show up in pay-per-click. Look at this. These are pay-per-click ads that reviews show up. Website rankings. They show up in organic rankings. They show up in local directories like Yelp and City Search and Yahoo and Bing and all these major directories. Make no mistake about it, the most important type of marketing that we can be doing right now and more importantly that your business needs to be focused on doing is reputation marketing because of game changer number three. That SEO, social media, pay-per-click, local marketing, none of it works anymore. If you have a bad reputation or have bad reviews online. So for years now, we've all gotten it wrong. We typically go out and we'll do, we'll build, you know, create a website, we'll maybe do some pay-per-click, maybe we'll try to get ranked in the top of Google with our web page, or maybe some video marketing. But with the bad reputation, none of that works. So what we need to be doing is flipping it completely upside down. Step one is create a five-star reputation online for your business. Then step two is go market your products and services, build your website do some pay-per-click, do video marketing, whatever type of marketing that you're gonna do, blogging or, or social media, whatever that is, you need to have a five-star reputation first before you do that. Because who really cares if you're number one in Google or you're number one on a search engine or you're coming up, coming up number one on Yelp or all these other different sites if you have a bad reputation online. And trust me, a bad reputation can sneak up on you. You can have 10 amazing reviews and the last two be incredibly bad and you will lose business. So let's look at the last game changer because we talked a little bit about you know difficult things, uh, not some of some positive things. Reviews send you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Now if I was to ask any business owner, would you want to build a business with people that don't know you, don't like you, and don't trust you? Or a business that's a referral business where people know you, like you, and trust you, which type of business will you want to build? Hands down, everyone would answer, I'm sure you would too, a referral business. Well, believe it or not, with reputation marketing, you can literally build a referral business to brand new customers that have never even done business with you because buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. And here's an unbelievable study that was just done. 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. So when you've got a five-star reputation and you've got these reviews on your website, you've got reviews online, that's just as much of an influence as someone's mother saying, yes, you should definitely do business with this company. Or yes, I bought from that company and it was a great experience. So look at three out of four buyers trust online reviews just as much as personal recommendations. So let me give you even a bigger stat on this. This was done by Nielsen. 
and Nielsen obviously is one of the biggest stats that they've been Nielsen ratings are the huge is kind of like the plumb line of all types of marketing especially when it comes to television look what they said when they actually asked thousands of people to what extent do you trust the following forms of advertising look at the number one 90 percent say look I trust people I know and the next one right under that 70 percent said consumer opinions posted online this is huge so you have one stat saying 72 percent Nielsen saying 70 percent this is a game changer and look at under this <laughs> editorial content such as newspapers and articles way below that having online reviews are more powerful than even having a news editorial done about your company now I just want to let you know we are here to help you with this this is what we do as a company we are experts in this we're the leaders in the industry when it comes to reputation marketing and with our clients we help them build that five-star reputation and dominate their niche and especially getting that phone to ring getting people to buy on that set appointment or add the cart button that's what we're experts in so if you want more information and really to be able to answer some more questions about this feel free to call us with the number that's on the page right now or our email and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have via email too so you can see you're getting back to this even emails they signed up for you see this 50 percent so if someone actually registers for your newsletter they are only one out of two is going to say yeah I really trust them consumer opinions posted online much better than even people that have signed up for your newsletter this is incredible so let's talk about real quick here what's so important about reputation marketing <laughs> why is reputation so vital to a business well this is a, just an amazing stat consumers look up an average of 10 reviews before making a buying decision 10 reviews this is important why because what if you don't have 10 reviews you are likely to lose customers because this next stat is even more powerful 70 percent of consumers trust a business with a minimum of six to ten reviews so here's the deal not only is it about not if you've got bad reviews you're in trouble but if you don't have enough reviews someone that's found you online or was referred to you might just skip over you completely so what is that plumb line what is that litmus test to say look we're a company that can be trusted six to ten reviews so if you don't have literally five star reviews that are at least ten of them your business can't even be trusted and just think for a second we all do it we look for reviews and we see one or two we're like eh, that's not really or we go to our iPhone or we download an app we say you know a hundred a thousand ten thousand people downloaded this then we go wow that's got more authority that's got more proof that this is a really good app I'm probably gonna buy this one so the more reviews you have that over your competition the five-star ratings that you have will literally get you to dominate online so what is reputation marketing we've been talking about reputation marketing for a while here but what really is it because I'm sure that we've all heard about what reputation management is but what is reputation marketing well it's easy it's simply position yourself as a market leader in front of thousands of buyers with a five-star reputation and that's what you want you don't want just an ordinary reputation you want a five-star reputation so how do you create that five-star reputation online what is a good reputation marketing strategy well step one which you've already done you need to know your reputation online and with our proprietary system and process you've already gotten a little taste of what that is you've looked at what directories that you are not in which is a major missing piece and a major pivotal piece to make sure that you have a good online reputation marketing strategy more importantly the bad reviews what are people saying about your company online more importantly how to get how to eliminate those bad reviews so what we find is that there are really four types of reputations to start with one is a bad reputation pretty easy to understand what a bad reputation is the second thing we find is no reputation at all and based on the stats I just share with you you might as well have a bad reputation if you got no reputation at all if you have two or three four reviews people will just glance right over you because you don't have enough authority the third thing we find is a good reputation this is a reputation that's got some good reviews and it's a kind of some minor bad reviews and kind of mixed in there and that doesn't help you at all either because even if you've got 10 really good reviews but the last one or the last two are bad 
guess what they're going to read first? The bad reviews. You got one chance to make a first impression, and even though you've been amazing the last two years and really done well, and people love you, and let's say you're a receptionist or you're a salesperson who's ever doing your fulfillment has a bad day, you might get bad reviews, and those bad reviews will deter. So you've got to have a good reputation marketing strategy in place. And the last reputation that we find, and this is the one that dominates their niche and their industry online, is a five-star reputation. So now that you understand what reputation marketing is, let's give you our strategy. Now this is proprietary, and this is what we do with our customers. So we want to lay it out for you so you can apply this to your own business, and then we're going to give you some sneak peeks into exactly how we do it. So here's our reputation marketing strategy that you need to apply to your business. Number one is you need to develop a five-star reputation online, and we'll go into just a few minutes exactly how to do that then you need to market that reputation. You need to leverage the power of having this five star when your competition doesn't. And we'll teach you step by step exactly how to market that reputation. Then you need to manage that reputation. Managing that reputation takes on all kinds of facets. Number one is you wanna make sure that you're actually getting good reviews all the time. You wanna make sure those reviews are always filtered. So the reviews that people see aren't the average ones, they're your five star reviews. So you also need to monitor all the different sites that actually have reviews on them so that if there's a bad review, you can quickly eliminate that bad review. Now also, you wanna create a reputation marketing culture. Now this is really big. It's not good enough just to actually do all the work that you need to do to get that five-star reputation. You need to make it easy by getting your entire staff and your business on board so they understand that they need to give a first class experience to your customers so that those customers will go on and brag about you because the way that you treat your last customer is the reason you're actually going to get your next customer because of that amazing reputation that you're creating so let's jump in and give you some insights on how to develop a five-star reputation first of all getting reviews is vital and one of our security ingredients are postcards Consumers, customers, other businesses that you work with, they love to give reviews, but we need to kind of encourage them to do that. So we design professional postcards with QR codes and even encourage them by giving them huge incentives to put reviews about you online. So this is a great strategy. Another great strategy actually to get and develop a five-star reputation are business cards. You need to arm your staff with business cards so that as soon as someone's done with the transaction, as soon as, let's say you're a moving company and someone gives a compliment saying thank you so much for moving, that you can hand them a card with all the information they need to actually take that great experience and brag about you online. People that get a good experience and a first class experience with the company love to go out and tell others about it. The issue is, is most businesses don't have a system or process to actually do that. And we use a great strategy with business cards to do that. Also email templates. Most of the customers we work with have at least a small list of people that actually know them, like them, or done business with them. And we tailor a specific email to go out that literally grabs reviews by the dozens online. So these are just three of just so many different strategies that we implement. Now at this point, I just want to let you know that we're here for you. We want to help you develop these strategies for your business because there's nothing stopping you from literally be the number one company for people to turn to when they want your products and services, more importantly, not your competition. And even if they do see you with your competition online, they're gonna choose you because you have a five-star reputation. And so you, we wanna help you implement these strategies. So what I wanna do is give you a couple more strategies here, but I wanna encourage you to give us a call. We're here to help you, we wanna answer all your questions, help you really get the details on this. More importantly, you might be in a very unique industry that might not apply some of these strategies, but we can give you some other ones that will apply to you because we've got so much that we want to help you with. Now, another strategy we have is a private review page. Now, this is what we designed for our customers because what we want to do is we want to play lead blocker to those that might not have a good experience or maybe your company has an off day and or maybe someone's expectations were out of whack. We don't want them running right to Google or right to Yelp or right to these online review sites to talk about their bad experience. We want to give them a place to vent that we control. 
So what we do for our customers is we create an online portal for them that all the reviews come in and we actually take all those reviews and we post the good ones online. The bad ones, we actually send to you so that you can actually connect with the customer and make sure that you mitigate or more importantly, help that customer turn their opinion of you around. So having a private review page so that they can actually give the reviews online and it all goes into a proprietary database that we can actually help you with. Now, there's a posting strategy as well. And it, but this is real important because every single one of these reviews needs to be posted. So even if you gather reviews online, businesses cannot post reviews for their customers. It's impossible to do. Because let's say you even gather these in a postcard um, at, you know, around the office. And you sit down and you say, okay, I'm gonna go post these online. These are great reviews. Well, you can't post them because review sites have algorithms that filter out and delete all reviews that are posted from the same computer IP network. So literally what you'd have to do is if you want to post five reviews, you'd have to go to five different businesses or five completely different computers in different areas of the city to post them. Because these sites know they don't want reviews that aren't legitimate. And so they've created these amazing algorithms that filter out and delete it. So you can spend a tremendous amount of time on it, it just won't work. But what we have are proprietary systems and processes that can post the reviews for a company without being filtered and deleted. And like I said, we're the foremost experts in the industry as you can see with our reputation reporting software and we have so much more to share with you. So again, I wanna encourage you to connect with us so we can help you do this. So let's talk about marketing your reputation. There are so many amazing ways you can market. Let me just give you a few of them. The big one is video review marketing. If you think reviews that are written are powerful, you haven't seen anything yet until you have a video review. And our expertise in creating these video reviews is like none other in the industry. These video reviews convert. And we just don't put them online, but we put them on your website and we market them all over. So when someone sees your company, they see your video reviews. So we literally have not just text, we have living, breathing people that have experienced your products and services, love to do business with you. I'm telling you, this one strategy alone is gonna grow your business this year. Then you've got website marketing. If I was to take a look at your website right now, would there be any reviews on it at all? Well, why not? Remember, reviews convert. Three out of four people trust reviews more or as much as their own relationships referring you is, is a, is a company. So bottom line is why aren't you marketing them on your website? We have specific strategies that literally turn your website into a magnet for people so that when they actually land there, they don't leave until they pick up the phone and start doing business with you. Social media marketing, another great way to market your five-star reputation. Maps marketing, what we talked about, Google Plus, being at the top of the map there. Email marketing, what about Every time you send out a newsletter, being able to market your reputation that way. Sales marketing, and this is huge. There's a lot of people that just don't, won't do business with you because of the fact they just wanna get more information. They just wanna do a little bit more research. They wanna be convinced that you are the company they should be doing business with. Reviews do this. So your sales force needs to be armed with the fact that they can literally go to Google, type in your name, and they can see your Zagat reviews and they can read the reviews out loud to the customers. And when they review, they actually read those reviews online, it's literally gonna change a customer's mind right then and there. They're not gonna need to go anywhere else but make a decision to work with your company. So this is really, really big. Including putting together a system where let's say you're on the phone with a potential customer and they decide they wanna do a little bit more shopping around, send them an email afterwards you know, we typically do that, don't we? But what about sending an email and then having your reviews in that email for them to see the credibility of your company? This is what it's like having a five-star reputation. This is what it's like when you can dominate your marketplace because everybody else has no idea what's going on, but you do now because you have a good reputation marketing strategy. So now what about managing their reputation? How do you do that? Let me give you some insights here. Number one is you need to daily monitor your reviews. Now, some of us actually have what's called Google Alerts. This is a free service, there are a lot of different alert systems out there that when someone types in your name, 
or your company name or your product name that you get alerted when they do or they post something bad about you you get alerted well they don't work with reviews the reason is is these type of alerts search the web for your company name or your product name well when someone puts in a review because they put a review on your listing online they don't type in your name they don't write your name so you'll never see these reviews we have a proprietary monitoring system that actually goes out and searches the entire web and every single one it takes a while to put this together but when we do we know exactly what's going on with your reputation also bi-weekly reporting our customers literally we put together manually put together reports every two weeks and share that with our customers and this is vital because we just don't want you knowing about your reputation but we want you to be able to share it with your staff it's important that they understand that these reviews coming online are because the great job they've done it creates a fantastic culture which we'll talk about in just a moment here daily review alerts we actually comb the web every single day for our customers and you should be doing this every single day is searching the web and Yelp and on Bing and on City Search and looking for any negative reviews more importantly when we see a negative review we actually will notify you right away and positive reviews will actually notify you as well because that positive review you might be able to upsell them into something even bigger or you might be able to get some referrals out of them right away as well so we want your sales team to be able to get those positive reviews quickly location based reporting this is important every single business if you've got multiple locations you have a different reputation for each one of those locations because Google Yelp being all these review sites actually give you a specific listing for each individual location so you have to monitor all this every location is unique now also growing your reviews so continue to go these grow these reviews are important because of the fact that you always want to keep new reviews no one believes a review that happened a year ago or six months ago the the more important the review or the I should say the newer the review is the more important it's going to be and then posting reviews just remember don't even try this because it will not work posting reviews that you get will only be deleted and filtered they might be up for a day or two but they'll be gone so make sure you have a proprietary strategy that allows you to post your reviews so you can create that five star reputation and then manage by marketing only the five star reviews you don't want to put the average reviews on your website you want to put the average reviews in your marketing you want to put the five star ones and so you should actually have a system and a process like we do in-house with our team to actually do that for our clients now the last thing you want to do is create a reputation marketing culture because creating a reputation marketing culture is a proactive way to be able to maintain and dominate when it comes to your five-star reputation I mean the bottom line is you expect your staff to give first-class service right to your customers of course you do well what's your plan to inspire your staff to give first-class service and get raving reviews and I've spoken with companies from small companies that are two or three million all the way up to 50 million and when I ask them this question they're like a deer in headlights no one really has a plan because no one really understands how reputation marketing works but now you do and we've got a great plan for you and when it comes to creating a reputation marketing culture we do something that no company in the world can do which is we create a personalized reputation training center for you and your company this means we come in and create a training center for each one of your staff to help them understand what reputation marketing is more importantly what a five-star reputation is and even more important than that I would say is that for them to get clarity that the way they treat your customers today is the reason that what more customers are going to come in the door tomorrow and we want to get everyone on the same page so not with our systems our process our education but creating a personalized reputation training center so each one of your staff gets the education they need to be able to create that reputation marketing culture that is going to help you dominate your industry and your marketplace online so I hope we've given you some clarity that your reputation is everything and reputation marketing is the most important marketing that your business can be engaged in today and we want to help you do that simply contact us today at the contact information on this training page right now and we would love to put together a strategy for you and more importantly answer the questions that we might not have answered in this short training so we want to thank you for being here we're excited that you're taking the next step in your marketing to be able to understand how to create a great 
reputation marketing strategy. Take care, we'll see you soon, and we look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.